The new season is here. There are loads of changes to both the support role and enchanter items. If you want an in-depth look at all the changes, check out my video in the description. In this video, I test out a bunch of items I thought would work well for Janna. The build is Solstice Slay, Shirelia's Battle Song, Imperial Mandate, and Staff of Flowing Water. This build provides insane movement speed to your allies with great engage potential. Janna's damage scales off her movement speed, which makes this build even better. For my runes, I run Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Celerity, and Gathering Storm with Taste of Blood and Relentless Hunter. Now let's dive into the items. If you aren't familiar with Solstice Slay, then let me quickly explain the item. Solstice Slay has a passive called Going Sledding. After slowing or immobilizing an enemy champion, Solstice Slay restores 120 health and grants 90 movement speed for 4 seconds to you and a nearby ally with the lowest health. This effect has a 20 second cooldown. This item acts as a good engage tool to help an ally reach the immobilized enemy. It can also be used as a good way of disengaging from a fight and helping a low health ally escape. Janna utilizes this item well as she can immobilize and slow enemies with either Q, W or her R knockback. You will mostly be using Janna's W to proc Solstice Slay. After Janna's rework, a prominent playstyle for her is to rush Imperial Mandate and level her W first. Imperial Mandate now does current health damage when an ally detonates the mark. Additionally, both you and your ally are both granted 25% movement speed for 2 seconds. If you aren't familiar with the changes to Staff of Flowing Water, check out the video in the description for a deep dive of all the enchanter item changes. In summary, Staff now provides movement speed to yourself and an ally when healing or shielding them, as well as ability power. You may have noticed that this is the current Shirelia's passive. Shirelia's Battle Song has retained its old active, but the passive has been removed and added to Staff of Flowing Water. The active can be used to speed up yourself and your entire team and can be useful in many situations such as engaging into fights or running away from the enemy. Overall, this build feels really strong. All of these items provide movement speed to both Janna and her allies. The super speedy movement speed will be sure to keep your allies safe and open up fights with huge engage potential. I will try other items on Janna to find her best fit, but this build is definitely a strong contender. Movement speed is such a hugely valuable stat to provide for your teammates, especially in high elo. It allows your teammates to make those disgusting plays that might just get you some LP. Oh my god. Oh my god, the damage! <gasps> oh, Storm Surge is disgusting. How am I almost dead there? Like, that is insane. Like, that is actually insane. <laughs> wow, it was a good job I had this cat on my team. We pretty much just played together that whole time. And then we won the game.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out and allows me to continue making content. I will be making more videos soon, showing more specific builds that I recommend for enchanters. Keep an eye out for my new content and I'll see you guys soon.